Hi everyone. We seem to have a, a mahogany wooden box. Some bits in the front there might give the clue the uh, a clue to what we've got in that box. A couple of other things there. Let's open it up. We have what in the old days, the olden days, a bit before my time. The, uh, the quack doctors used these. It was an induction coil that, that produced a um, fairly high voltage which would be fed to these two implements and the patient would hold in each hand one of these. The instrument would be turned on and you've got a control in here which would be originally pulled out. The vibrator part would operate there as a trembler and you'd be induced a high voltage out of prime, that's the prime, I'd probably offer these two, the secondary. As I've only just got this so I haven't been able to do any testing with it but I thought I'd put quickly put it on YouTube and a bit of interest. I have in the past put on um, a Rumpkoff coil which is exactly the same thing. Instead of bringing it out to things you hold, a Rumpkoff coil is normally put to a, 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 to a spark gap where you see the sparks jump. This one you probably wouldn't make it spark, it wouldn't be enough, uh, enough voltage and you haven't got any capacitors in, in this. With the proper Rumpkoff coil you have got a paper and metal capacitor. The idea of this simply shields the core. If it's... Actually I showed you wrong. It, I th yeah, with it right in I think it's at its lowest power because you produced a metal screen between the soft metal, the iron metal core and the coil. By taking it out you reduce the screen so it should in fact become more powerful. But I will check this out at a later date. But that's what they're in, in there for. The gentleman I bought it off of today said to me, oh one of his customers come along and said oh I'm going to connect it to the mains which is absolutely stupid. Um, but as I say, I bought it off him. I thought, no, no, that is too good to be ruined. We look underneath. The bits you don't see are somewhat cruder. There's all your wires. Uh, the way it's connected up. You'd have a circuit for the actual trembler itself. And that causes the circuit to make and break which in making and breaking you induce a higher voltage into a secondary winding which is in this part here which is obviously in, in there there's windings under there you've got on off switch which is here that needs tightening up this implement's quite a few years old so it is entitled to become a bit what's it. There's the switch itself. The two contacts would be from there to one of those. Now what they do when it's on they pass it through this strip which is simply another type of switch, a press switch. And you look at the top there's a, like a little button. You press that and the circuit's broken so that's obviously used for it, a, for a type of intermittent use. It just makes and breaks the circuit. As I say, I haven't tried it out yet. I will do. I'll check out the other uh, coils are okay. I see, see no reason why they shouldn't be. It seems to me that it's never been tampered with. got your various wires and connectors there. I'll drop that. The 
box would have contained a battery at some time or you can just power it outside There's, there is a provision to have the battery internally there's your uh, your battery connector you either have it externally or bring the wire in through the hole to the battery in the box that is how it would go um, now you've got two other implements they look like they're on like um obviously very hard now because it's they're old but it's a kind of leather and those would also could be screwed on to the handles and applied to various parts of the other uh, body I dread to think what parts but that's what they would have been for in those days they were quack doctors and they really believed that being being electrified was very good and, and it would cure all kinds of ailments obviously we know today that it it won't and um, it's just made an interesting talking point and a nice antique item to have on the side anyhow once again any questions please ask I'll try and get back to you but there we are one shocking coil it was based on the coil invented or it wasn't invented by Rumpkoff but it, the name is accredited to him a Rumpkoff coil I have done a I have done a video on such a coil anyhow once again thanks for looking and um, yeah I hope you find it interesting I certainly do anyhow thank you again thank you